All right, hi everyone, and welcome to the fourth video in the series about Rhino inside Revit. In this case, in this example, what we're going to talk about is how to edit parameters in Revit using Grasshopper. It's uh, one of the processes people have been um, playing around with, and so I thought I'd show you the kind of quick way that you can do that. To start this example, uh, what I did was open the basic Revit model, and then um, I pushed it into 3D so we can pick some things and, and see what's going on there. And in this case, I have the Rhino add-in running. It's, uh, so I've got the tab here. So I'll open uh, Grasshopper, and I'll open a definition called door parameter script and uh, well let me let me before i do that because it it happens quite quickly and so just so we can see so i'm going to pick on this door here and and what this script does is something very simple is it's going to find all the doors in the model and then it's going to grab the mark on the door and it's going to duplicate the mark into comments and so we're going to take in this case the room number of course and uh, so it's going to grab all those and throw it into comments. Just something quick, and we'll take a look how to, how to do that. If I just, I'll just open up Grasshopper here, and I will open that uh, demonstration file, door parameter script. Click on that. Say open. If I look at this here, you can see what this does is it takes all the doors, and it finds them all. And then using some Grasshopper Revit components that are included in the Revit toolbar, it finds the key mark and gets its value. And then it pushes that, pushes that value into the comments parameter and on all those doors. It's just as simple as that. It just ran already as we opened it. And if you click on here, you can see now the mark and the comments are actually now duplicated in the same. That's something really quick, easy to do. You have that definition in the sample file, so you can take a look at it. In addition to that, there's some interesting uh, workflows that we've noticed uh, that you can do using um, Grasshopper, using Rhino, and using Human UI, which is the Grasshopper plugin that you can download. What this allows you to do is using Grasshopper, you can actually create dialog boxes and those can interact in this case with Revit. So I have a definition already created. I'm going to use this player icon here and uh, we'll go to sample right sheet with the human UI script. We'll say open here. And what Grasshopper has done, even though Grasshopper doesn't show up because we use the player, it created this form using human UI. And this form is tied to the sheet drawn by and checked by parameters. And so I can come here and I can update the names here. If I just hit the update button here, you can see that, that by typing it in here, this updated right here. And so you can create uh, custom uh, dialog boxes that pop up and drive certain parts of, of the Revit model in this case. Let me show you that definition just so you can kind of see what it looks like. So we'll close this one. And we'll close, uh, we can close this one. And there's a lot of human UI running here, so it's, it's uh, asking me some questions. But um, I'm going to go right here and open this up in, in uh, in Grasshopper. And so just so you can kind of see how simple this is, this is a standard human UI interface in Grasshopper. Very simple, launch a window, have a couple text boxes, and have those actually draw. This, this component actually draws them on the screen. And then uh, it also looks at the values that come out of those two text boxes. And then based on all the sheets it can find, going through finding all the sheets in the file, all the uh, elements, which are the sheets themselves, and then adjusting the parameters of drawn by and checked by through here. And so just run this, uh, in this case, uh, I set the uh, human UI to true so that when you run it, it brings up the human UI right away. 
So fairly straightforward, simple way of doing it. But an exciting uh, way to perhaps use Grasshopper to drive parts of Revit and create scripts that might be uh, useful to your workflow. So I hope that helps. There's one more video that I have about interacting with Revit objects in Grasshopper. Hopefully this one will allow you to maybe think of some solutions that you haven't thought of before. Thanks.